Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Brotator run. And today I was thinking about playing with the One Armed. Now why the arm, uh, One Armed? Well, first of all, because the last time we unlocked a new, uh, not the last time, at some point we unlocked this Obliterator and I want to use this with the One Armed. And the second reason is because I also want to unlock this guy's weapon. And the third reason is because I want to go into the whole idea of scaling. So let's get Ghost Axe. This passive, this guy's passive is 200% attack speed, which is good. All damage won't first are increased by 100%. That's why I want to go Ghost Axe to scale damage. And then you can equip one weapon at a time. Uh, but the trade-off of the crazy damage is obviously a lot higher. We're gonna go endanger difficulty one because I don't want to deal with inflation. I want to have a fun time just getting a build of my choice. And uh, yeah, let's see how this is gonna go. Let's just see. Hopefully we're gonna get at least one damage boost here on turn one right away. Uh, my plan in general is to get about 100% more damage done with the axe. And then maybe transition over to the... Um, I don't know, man. I, I guess I would like to transition over to the one that heals and gives us life. I'm gonna go to HP regen, to be honest. Let's uh, fix that real quick. I could go for the wand right this moment. Or get the damage, just go for the wand. But as you see, the damage is already 2%. I'm gonna get this wand later. Uh, let's go for this. This 7% for us is 14. So I'm gonna buy this. We lose 2 life, but we gain crazy damage boost. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think Ghost Scepter is the play. Just go for life on the Ghost Scepter, and then get the damage through items, and just don't care about anything else. I think that is the play. And the thing is that I could not have started with a Ghost Scepter in the beginning. That's why I chose the, the Axe. 5 max HP. We're gonna not buy that. Let's roll for 3. Luck. I want luck for sure. Because if I go for the Obliterator, I will need damage. Let's roll again. And I think that is enough. This is good too. Let's maybe buy this too. Let's go. So let's see how fast this attacks. Okay, this attacks pretty decently fast. For this to be worth it. Not sure if I, I, I made the right decision about pulling the trigger on the axe early enough. But uh, if I can get my life up to 3D just by using this thing, then I can rotate back to the axe again later. Right? And then continue scaling damage after the fact. For now, I think getting my max life up is really a good decision. Nah, you, we got two life out of that. Easy enough. 5 attack speed, 5 luck, 1 range damage, 20. I'm gonna go with 1 range damage. Oh, we go separate level 2, very nice. And we lose 2 max life for another 14 damage boost. As you see, this 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 pays off a lot faster. Uh, let's go for this. We roll for 3. 3 is very cheap. We're also going to buy this. Let's get a bit of armor. Yeah, like uh, gaining max armor and then being able to reduce it to gain the thing that just said 14% damage for 2 life. Yeah, that's like easier to handle than trying to get like a million kills with the axe and then not buying items that say minus max life. And uh, I think this, uh, you know, leveling up this laser, the more I do, the more life we're gonna gain, of course, because now it's on every 18 kills it gives you a max life. I definitely will like having piercing bullets and, uh, you know, whatever else. Actually, maybe I should chase down opponents more. Two range damage, we're gonna take that. Especially if I go obliterator. 10% uh, damage against 5% luck. I'm gonna say 10% damage. Let's go with luck on this and armor. And uh, would have been nice, but whatever. Let's go. I'm ready for it. I have 11 life now. And at the end of this, I should have about 13 or 14. If I have 13, we're gonna be good to go. But I should definitely chase down opponents instead of money. Like, the moment I see an opponent, I should just chase them down. And pull the opponents through the money pits. Instead of going money first. I need to always be attacking something. And he says that, and then instantly he doesn't follow up. Boom, 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 boom. I love it. I love it. The simplicity. I love the simplicity. Of course, having ma uh, range and whatnot would be better. Um, having more, like, a melee weapon would hit more at the same time as one thing. Say, 16% damage against the luck, and we're gonna go 16% damage. Uh, we're gonna get the knockback for when we have to deal with those uh, pesky chase you down guys. 8 max HP for 4 dodge. Honestly, no, I don't need max HP anymore. Um, let's roll for 8. Flamethrower. What is this? We lose engineering, but we gain 12% damage and 2% lifesteal. Or, uh, to engineer. I'm not gonna care about the engineering. We're gonna get that. I'm also thinking about getting this. This is minus four armor for four damage, but it's ten luck. And I do enjoy my luck. As I said, if we go for obliterator, we will need to have luck. Be lucky enough to find the weapon itself. I think at least. I mean, this is just a theory. It might not even be true. I'm doing 3d1 damage with this thing right now. I love it. I really do. Still opponents alive. Give me max life. Now we go to the point where we just, you know, always attack. As long as I'm always shooting, and as long as every single shot is a one-shot, we are stacking life. As long as every single shot is a one-shot. That's the only thing that really matters. As long as I'm getting one-shots. 
one, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Everything is one shot. Nice, nice. We got 22. Very nice. Two armor against six max dice. We're gonna go with two armor. Next life is happening. Uh, let's buy both of these, I would say. Definitely this. Oh, I don't have enough for this. I have to lock this down. Roll for seven. Now I'll go separate uses, though. Uh, let's go. Alright, 3d4 damage. Very nice. Still one-shotting everything. The issue is gonna arise when we don't one-shot things anymore. <laughs> That's when we're gonna have issues. Now, with this max life gaining, I want to get about 50 to 60 life. If I get to 50 to 60 life, I will try to transition over into an axe build. So we also start amassing damage. And then uh, after that is done, I guess we hope for the obliterator. Although I'm not even sure if we will survive here. I start believing that we won't. It's not like we do anything crazy. Also, another issue right now is that we're not even getting that many kills. So, we, yes, we are gaining life, but we are losing damage. Uh, not damage, money. Still alive, still alive. And we did it. 28, nice. For engineering, imagine. 3% healing. Safety. Let's go here. Lose a bit of damage. Nice. Go separate two. Now I got my ghost separate three. So now we will do 3d9 damage and also heal and get even more life faster. Uh, I see the ghost axe, but a bit too early. Not ghost scepter. Okay, all of these are uses. Let's go. Now the main thing I care about now is obviously getting the obliterator. <laughs> like uh, I think I have 3d life. If, as I said, we need to get 60 life. Uh, plan plan A, not plan A. Part A of the the plan. Part A of the plan, get to 60 life. Plan B, uh, either find the obliterator right away and just go for it, or get axes. Okay, at least the blue axe. I'm not gonna start with a... Like, I'm, I'm not gonna use a common axe. But let's start with axes after that to start amassing damage. And then after that, I don't know, there is no plan C. Then we just go for the obliterator. As long as I'm just doing one shots, I'm, I'm happy. I think we do gain enough. Man, this thing gives us like... How much did we gain? Three? Four? Yeah, we don't gain money, but we gain life for sure. Three range damage, yes, for the obliterator. Trees die in one hit. Honestly, no. Oh, this, yes. We lose 6% actually, we gain 20% damage. I'm gonna go yes on that. This is melee and elemental, useless. Uh, let's roll for 10. Let's, uh, I found the purple thing, but it's not the thing I want. Let's roll for another 13. I found luck. Uh, let's take the luck. That's 4% damage, but it's still worth it. And uh, I think this is also worth it. Dodge is not a thing in our build. I think we're good. Like, buy these both. Both. I, 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 I'm not sure if we will be able to buy them both. Actually, maybe even forget this. Mm, eight, 8 life. If I get 8 life, then I can theoretically transition over to the next one. Let's see how much life we gain. 55 damage per shot, by the way. And 2 shots those guys. So I have 37 right now. If at the end of this, I'm at 40... Let's say 42. Then... Uh, it's definitely worth it. Like, five five life per wave is really decent-ish. Although I already made a mistake of not running towards opponents. And also, this is not a good wave in general. Because of those guys that don't even die in two hits. Nice, nice. I mean, they do die in two hits. That's what I meant. Those guys that die in two hits. Come on, leave me alone. Two. 42? Okay, I see the 43 happening. So, this is definitely worth it. Trying to get the tree here. Not easy. Not possible, actually. Forget the easy. Nice. We got another one. 44. Okay. Goes for 45 as far as I'm... No, almost had the 45 there. If I got the beginning, the beginning better. 10 luck. Um, let's get more luck. We lose a bit of damage. Let's roll. Uh, max life and HP regen. We lose a bit of luck. Mm, honestly, if I get this... First of all, let's take this. If I get this... I think we're done with max life. I don't need more than max life other than 60. Like, we already have too much. I don't need more. And uh, then I can transition over to whatever. So I started at 44. Let's see if I can get, like, 650. If I get 50 or 51, we're good. We're losing a lot of money. This is one of the easier waves to just farm money on. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. We are a max life build anyway. And I'm going to transition over to the axes after this. Wave 9. Okay, I need to remember that wave 9 is an always good wave. These guys are easy to handle. Kill, kill, kill. Boom, boom. More, more, more. <laughs> I got them. They are trying to chase us down. We just scale out of you guys. You guys are scaling us. Imagine having piercing here. Just imagine having the piercing item. Could have been so, so, so much more powerful. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Another one. 54, 55. 
Yeah, this is insane. Okay, now we go for the damage build. Now we go for axes. This uh, this is enough. We already have too much. 55 is enough. We don't need more. Uh, let's go with three armor, I would say. So we also fix my armor issues. And uh, I'm gonna go. Let's go go luck. Uh, let's also get the alien. I'm too late for the alien. Get the alien. I, I'm okay with 55. I found the ghost axe. I found the ghost scepter too. I could have gone for a super ghost scepter. No, I, I said what I said. We're gonna go into axe now. Go for 17. So with this here, damage against range is this is this is a very very yes. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Come on, let's go. And now we're gonna start scaling damage. Okay, 32 damage per smack. Well, now I just need to. Yep, now I just need to scale damage as fast as humanly possible. And I hope we find the obliterator at the end of the day. Uh, I was thinking about after wave. 15 or something to start just re-rolling all the time until I find either another axe or obliterators and that's it like don't don't even try to find anything or maybe just damage upgrades too well if, if I start including damage upgrades and then armor upgrades and then life upgrades well the plan is gonna go into gur so I'm gonna say damage upgrades and um, damage upgrades I, I axes and the obliterator nothing else Every, everything else instant no well th this feels extremely dangerous by the way this in general. Uh oh. 3D life. Uh oh. 24 life. I'm continually gaining damage though. At least the plan is working. Yeah. Let's see how much we have. 3D pickup range. Let's take it. 110 damage. 9 max life. I'm gonna take this. 16% damage. No, we're gonna go 9 life. The more tanky, the better. Uh, keep money. Let's get this. Let's not get this. I'm not gonna be keeping money. I will be rerolling. So let's reroll. Oh, no racks. We take that. Mana damage and range damage against the HP regen. Actually, HP regen is important. This is good, though. Let's reroll. Because it's damage. Oh, no. This is worse than this. So we're just gonna go with this. Um, a bunch of max life. No, reroll. Didn't find it. Let's go. Obliterator is what I'm chasing now. Okay, these guys are gonna destroy us in general. They're gonna be an issue in the future. Just saying. Wait, wait. I wanna see how much damage I have. I have 134. So let's see how much we gain here at the end of this. I'm 134. Can I bring it up to like 200? If this thing brings it up to 200, so... If I get like 60 damage per wave... Oh man, oh man. Although I don't think that's gonna happen. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. Also, I don't know exactly what happens with range on this weapon. Uh, excuse me. I hate these rush down guys, man. They are uh, they are inevitable. That's the that's why I hate them. If there was some main way of avoiding them, maybe I wouldn't have that much of an issue. I'm trying to be here in the middle just to have access to everything and just to attack as many opponents as possible. Got them. Got a, a mass of opponents over there. Nice, good box. I lost a mass over there. Wow, that's like 30 percent damage boost. That's decent. That's decent. 50 percent attack speed. I'm gonna take it. I know I already have a sizable amount, but I want to make a big wow shiv. Let's get this. Another 24 percent damage. My range is in the complete gutter. We roll. Mm, none of these, of course. We roll. None of these. Uh, yeah, none of these. We roll. Uh, yep, this one. Yes, on this. I said yes on damages. Let's take it. But my range is gutter. Gutter it is. Let's go. So I have 210. Let's see if 210 is gonna become 300. Somehow. Magically. Somehow magically, 210 is gonna become 300. It might happen. It might happen. Maybe if the axe was purple. As long as I'm smacking every single second, I'm good. As long as every single second there's a smack on something. Would that be an opponent? Would that be a tree? Would that be whatever? Can be whatever it wants. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Still alive, still alive. Still alive. We're losing too much life for no reason. Uh, I would enjoy gaining some HP regen. Uh, specifically, if I can get the... Um, tomato. Would be good. Would help us. I will run into the masses at the end. But I'm, I'm a bit afraid. Oh, we're dead. 8 life is the hit we take on hit. Still alive. Heal a bit, 20 life, 2 seconds. Wow, 3 seconds almost died. 12% uh, damage is 24% damage. I, I got only... Oh dear. I got only 4 damage from this. Let's go damage. Uh, luck against HP regen. Honestly, I do need my HP regen, so this is a no. Will I reroll this? 
Tomato, got exactly what I wanted. Oh, I can't launch him, obviously no. Uh, I'm gonna go 10% attack speed against for damage. I need to make my attack speed even more and more and more and more. Roll explosion size, pretty useless. All of these are useless. Roll the ghost axe, nope. That's purple, right? Yep. I roll for 36. Yeah, that's enough, let's go. Now I start with less health, but my HP region is high enough to fix this, of course. In the moment my health hits my max life, uh, we will only see upsides on the, of the tomato. Until I hit max life though, the tomato is just straight up downside. Like, uh, the, the life lost was never recovered, is what that means. Uh, I mean, no, that, that, that that's completely wrong, because at the end of the day, after 10 seconds, no 10 seconds, 10 healings, which is 50 seconds, uh, the tomato has already healed you at 80% and it costed you 50%, so yeah, that, that was a lie. But now that I am full life, now uh, I can run in and run out, dip in, dip out. Exactly what I wanted to be able to do, he said, and now I'm never gonna heal Max uh, life again, and now I'm gonna panic for the rest of the run. Because of my stupid decisions of running in the middle of opponents. How much healing do I have? 16? Uh oh. And we're surviving. Two seconds, let's go in. Okay. Damage is 298. Melee damage. Eight. Eight. Eight melee damage. Six max life though. Uh, eight melee damage. Wait, does, does my damage also go through the roof? Like, is this eight, 16 in reality? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the crazy damage boost. Oh yeah, this is 16. Wow, this guy's even better than I thought. Uh, healing from healing items, honestly, no. Reroll. Wolf main, no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say with no. Reroll. Attack speed, crit chance, and range against HP region. No. Reroll. Cape. Lose a million damage. No. Uh, oof. Reroll. On the back, that always pays for itself. Couldn't go for the even more attack speed idea, but no. Let's go. I had 49 to reroll if I wanted to. Can I find the obliterator? I mean, I have five more waves to go through. Like, there is a chance that we're gonna have enough to buy it. It's pretty sizable. 160 damage is what we're doing right now with Axe, by the way. I cannot imagine how much damage the Obliterator is going to be doing. The Obliterator is going to be like 2,000 or something. Please, please, game, give me the Obliterator. I don't know what the chances are. I don't know if it's rare to find or whatever. I do have a, a sizable amount of... I don't have infinite luck, but I have a decent amount of luck. So that, that part is quote-unquote dealt with. I think I have like 20 or 30. And I think 20 or 30 is enough to give you, like, it's 30% higher chance to find higher items, so... Although, the thing is, I don't exactly know how luck works. I don't know the exact math behind it. Like, if luck maybe affects only partially how many legendaries you find. Or if that 30% does not really apply. Found an item, so that thing paid off for itself. I'm almost dying. Run it in at the end. I think we are scaling less and less. Let's get money. Um, let's get cheaper shops and super axe. Yep, so now we have a, a super axe. Let's reroll. This thing is doing 364 damage. This thing is doing 182. What? What? No, th no, no, no. This does... No, no, it does 239 and this does 120. I, I was looking at the range like, what am I even talking about? Let's reroll. Uh, reroll? I don't have rerolls. Let's go. Maybe I should have scaled more life, by the way. 64 does not feel good enough. Or, or, just saying, maybe I should scale more damage. Uh, maybe sh I should change the weapons. Maybe the time has come to pull the trigger on changing a weapon around. Maybe, maybe that's a thing. Just saying. Yeah, I, I, I decided just this moment. Uh, next time, I'm gonna just change weapons, no matter what it is. Even, maybe should have even picked up the, the healing one there. I will try to get something that's a bit AoE. Maybe a shotgun... Maybe some kind of explosive, the bazooka maybe for the pierce again. Because right now, I do have already like 300% damage and I just don't have a weapon that's good. Because, let's be serious, the axe is not a good weapon. As a weapon. As a, as a, as a passive effect that it has and provides and the help it supports, obviously it's good. But as a, as a weapon to just have and destroy these waves that have infinite upon infinite opponents just chasing you down, yeah, it's not good. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, run in. I got some 1 or 2 damage out, out of that. 2 armor against 3 damage, I'm gonna go CS on that. 9 max life, I'm gonna say. I see the 6 here, it's crazy good, but I'm gonna go 9 max life. Um, none of these for sure, is my opinion. Let's reroll. Rocket launcher is here. I'm gonna go for the rocket launcher. Honestly, let's sell this. I know we're scaling damage, but I need to start scaling money too. Because I want to find the obliterator. 
Please land one hit. Was that another thing already? Let's uh, reroll. Flamethrower. This is really good, but that's not good for what we're going with. <laughs> Maybe with a beard. 61 damage when an opponent dies. Isn't this crazy? One bullet dealing 61 damage fired from an enemy corpse. 61? I'm going to take this. And we're also going to take this. 10% damage to life and more opponents. Let's go. Bazooka. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, and I lost a million life, but whatever. Bazooka. 200 damage per shot. It's it's a photo shoot. <laughs> I think I like that. It's a flash bomb. What do you guys think you're doing? I want to find the obliterator, of course. And now that I have a heavy weapon, maybe the game's going to be like, oh, heavy weapons? Yeah, let's give me, let me give you more of them. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe Bazooka has the play. Who knows? Who knows? I cannot possibly know the future. Oh, these guys don't even die. What? He got hit five times, man. He survived after five hits of the bazooka. He has a thousand life. Like what? Are you serious? Maybe four times. I'm not. Maybe I'm not counting correct, but he definitely survived too much. Whoa, whoa. Chill. Chill, guys. We got 20 coins out of that. Bomb him, bomb him, continue bong him, bomb him, bong, and nice, 269, nice, speed against range, I'm gonna say money, uh, 16% damage, yes, maybe with a beard, that's gonna be busted, let's reroll, luck, let's buy the luck, but if you said you're only gonna reroll to find specifically the obliterator, and you're not doing it, welcome to the channel, is what I have to say to you guys, <laughs> okay, so these guys are only tanky because that guy gives them life or damage reduction or something of that nature Which uh, honestly a bit busted just saying, you know Those random shots of the baby with the beard are a little bit missing a Little bit blind by the way. I have so much minus range that I'm not even attacking them from here with a bazooka <laughs> I like that. I did a pause there and then the pause was so synchronized with I have so little range and then literally I stop shooting. Are you serious? These guys are surviving? Okay, man. Okay, 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 okay. I see how it is. The game's crazy, that's how it is. Stay away from me. I'm afraid. Nope. Still alive. Nope, still alive. Man, the baby with the beard is so awesome though, because it does some chain reactions. That's the most awesome part. Like I hit one, it hits something else, it hits something else, just bounces all around. Let's go like now. I'm gonna reroll forever until I find what I want. Let's get that rocket launcher. I lied. Instant lied. This is a rocket launcher built now. Let's go again. <laughs> I have two more waves to find the obliterator. Oh, this got attack speed? It got attack speed out of the level up. Insane. I love it. Let's go. You know what? I, I would suggest one very, 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 very small buff to this character. And it's very small. I would say you get the first passive that you get through through weapon upgrades. What do I mean? If I go sorry for the pause. If I go over this, it gets heavy you see heavy and explosive. Just the first upgrade, as if you have the weapon twice. That's it. Like not three, not max, not anything, just just as if you have the weapon twice, just to get one passive out of it. Although it doesn't really need it, because you could easily just, you know, say that, well, that is the point of this character. He cannot get those passives. And yeah, I mean that's fair. <laughs> but he 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 gains, I guess, two hundred percent damage. 2% attack speed and damage boost. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. At, at the end of the day, maybe this character is good how he is. Nothing needs to change. I love this guy. Hope he doesn't get nerfed. In general, I always hope that things don't get nerfed. Right, let's run through everybody. Let's get some food. Let's continue running through. Maybe pick up XP. Very nice. 428. Now we start finding money. Let's go HP region. Safety first. Wisdom is really good. I'm gonna go explosion size because it seems like we are an explosion build now. Can also go wisdom. This is you lose 40% damage right now, and then you gain 10% damage every second in the fight. Although I don't need to pay for this 200 something. I, I don't care. Uh, let's reroll. I want to try to find the obliterator. Now I have actually decided to go for the obliterator, no matter what. I'm not kidding. A bit too late though. Maybe I need to try to find the obliterator with some of the money classes. Just saying. Wink, wink. <laughs> I haven't found a minigun either, and it's very rare to find a minigun. Uh, so maybe the obliterator is even rarer. Rarer. I don't even know if there are legendary weapons, by the way. Like, if that's a thing, legendary weapons. Instantly. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. no. I have found legendary weapons, like, level tier... A simple weapon, uh, instantly level 4. Yes, I have found that. I don't mean this. I mean, I have not found a weapon that is only level 4. Like, those items, you know, those, um... 
you know, my item, for example, those unique aspects or Retromation's item or, or pretty much any any item that is legendary. Those, those exist. But does, is there a weapon that is just I'm only a legendary? Or is it like up to purple? Up to bazooka, not bazooka, up to minigun and uh, obliterator level. I really hope we're gonna find the Obliterator Ring. Come on. Although, even if I find it, will I have enough money to buy it? Because right now I have 400 and something, and the Obliterator is gonna cost 300. I'm gonna go range, honestly. Okay, as you see, 238. Reroll once. Ah, this this is never gonna pay for itself in time. Reroll twice. Ah, you see, this is what I meant. Is there another legendary just straight up a weapon sleep boom? Three. Last chance, four. No, oh, and we just lost the chance. And now I'm gonna pay so much that. Ah, mammoth. We're finding so many legendary. I told you that, like, actually is working. Look at this purple one, purple torch, purple this, legendary that. Machine gun, wow, 720. I would have bought it if I could. This sells for 75. Ah, let's now just go through the motions of rerolling. Would have been nice to buy this to have a legendary rocket launcher at the end, but it is what it is. Let's go and beat the game now. We didn't find the rocket, the legendary thing once. Okay, uh, with our damage that we're doing, and with the life I see he's losing, this is just never gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat them. I will try my best though, don't get me wrong. I will try to actually do a kill here and not a just a, a timeout. But if I don't, then so be it. Wait, did he evolve? No. Bazungus. 300 damage Bazungus. Man, the obliterator would have been doing 10,000 now. Could have been fun. Could have been fun. Should I push this? Like, maybe I should push my luck here with this thing. Try to get the obliterator run on every single next of my runs. By the way, I should really stop I'm not playing this correctly. Come on, kill this guy. Come on, kill that guy. I hate the buffers. <laughs> I hate everything. No, I'm kidding. Mechanics are good. It's good to, for mechanics to exist. And the boss now has become weird. And uh, I will no longer chase it down. I'm kidding. I'm gonna beat the boss with its bombers. I just don't want to lose. <laughs> Like, uh, not losing comes first, actually killing the boss, and instead of uh, timing it out, comes second. But I think I can easily do a uh, kill here. Azungus. Azungus. No, no. That guy's running. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Come on. One, two. I think it's two more and we're winning. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. No, you're kidding me, man. Got him. Got him. Run and win with a run warrant. Easy enough. What did we get? Uh, first of all, legendary item, 30% more damage, which for the single-handed is 60% more damage, okay? And you lose 3 attack speed for every weapon you have, and that's like 3% for one-handed. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I so much agree with this, man! By the way, this was doing 308 damage from 50. From 50, this was doing 308. That is 3 times, 4 times. Is that four times its damage? No, what am I talking about? Uh, five times five is 250. That's six times its damage. This was doing six times its damage. Uh, by the way, what an awesome weapon. How much is this thing was gonna do? Six times as much as it's gonna say. Six times as much as gonna say. From 250. Oh, this was gonna be doing uh, four, a 1,500 damage per shot. I lost the 5,000 damage shot. You know, doesn't matter. We, are, we also have the 5,000. Ah, I, I want to do this. I want to do this run. Well, regardless, uh, as I have said, this, very boring. Explorer, very boring. And also not unique, man. It doesn't even fit the character. Uh, this also very boring and not really unique as they unlock. But this guy, oh man, this thing, not only is it not boring because it's like a decent damage boost and um, seemingly whatever downside. This downside is uh, 6 times 3 is 18. This is 18% attack speed loss for pretty much all the characters. Uh, but for this character, it fits perfectly. It fits like a glove. While here... What does damage and lifesteal have to do with the ghost? Like, like what? Same same thing with here. Like, what, what does speed... I mean, speed has makes sense. Engineering, eh, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I definitely did. I'm a bit sad that I was not able to get the obliterator. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, I guess we're going to be waiting for the mod community to... Eh, actually, I think there is a mod community already. So maybe I'm going to wait for mods at some point. After I did the runs with every single character. Because I do want to do a single run with every single character. But after I do that, I hope... We're gonna be able to uh, get a mod that I can just make so that the shop, if you reroll, something like that is gonna be the mode. If you reroll, one of the spots is guaranteed going to be something of your choice or something like that. I mean, how how would you even mod that? 
Or I could just mod in just the weapon right away. Like, be like, okay, guys, I will uh, I will now spend all my money into rerolls. Like, let's say I have 400 coins. So, say, okay, I'm like, okay, guys, I'm going to reroll every single one of my coins without buying anything. So, I'm going to spend 400 coins. And now, I'm going to mod in that I have this weapon, right? Something like that is what I could do. Uh, but for now, uh, it doesn't really matter. For now, we're just gonna continue playing the game. Don't don't be afraid. I'm not gonna quote unquote cheat already because some people are like, oh, Sift is using mods to just do whatever he wants. Why don't you just mod in infinite money and just break the game completely? Then, ooh, 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 uh, like that's literally missing the point of what I'm saying. But whatever. Uh, the only thing I'm using the mods for is to bypass luck, pretty much to bypass RNG and just get the run the way I want it to be. Uh, yeah, mostly for showcasing. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh, by the way, I want to say something here. Uh, I want to make clear something. I am being upfront about anything and everything I do. Like when I lose a run or when I have already done a run and I'm like, oh, guys, I played this game before. Like I, I did the run first, I lost, now I, you know, I, I'm always saying everything. Like I'm using mods to do this and this and this. And I'm getting a, a small, a small amount of backlash because you guys are, you know, uh, I guess wholesome, you're, you're true believers, I mean, no, you're, you're just normal human beings that uh, I guess enjoy watching. And what I'm trying to get at is that, um, yeah, I'm using those to just get content out, I guess. Otherwise, like, I have, I, I hope you guys realize that there is a good chance, not everybody, but some people that you might be watching, uh, especially if the video does, is edited, there is a good chance that, you know, that person also uses mods to get what they want, right? I'm not saying anybody does that, okay? I'm not also, like, showing fingers. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that just because I'm upfront about everything and I'm expressing the thing that, guys, I did already do a run and lose, or guys, I am using the mod to get the weapon to bypass RNG. Yeah, that does not mean that I'm the only one that does this, right? And also, please remember that just because the other guy that doesn't mention that he lost before the run he shows in the internet didn't lose, um, yeah, that, that does not mean, like, uh, I think you have to face the reality, right? Like, all these, those, those videos where there is a person that uh, shoots out like a basketball shot uh, from 50,000 uh, miles away. Yeah, that guy might have shot like 50,000 shots of that uh, shot to get the, the video on, but he's not gonna say it. That does not mean that he's wrong. That does, mean, that does not mean that he's bad. I'm just, you know, I guess I'm gonna toot my own horn here just mentioning that uh, I, I'm being upfront about every, everything I'm doing and I hope you guys appreciate it. If you don't, well, tough luck because I will continue being myself and uh, yeah that's it pretty much I hope you guys enjoyed once again I'm not attacking everybody anybody I'm not offending anybody I'm not being like oh I'm right and these guys are wrong no 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 I'm not saying that the only thing I'm saying is that just because I mentioned that I'm using mods and I mentioned that I lost the run and people are uh, you know does not mean that others don't do that too and uh, that also does not mean that others do that right just because I'm modding games that does not mean that there is like a super awesome guy manly badass hero just beats every single game that he plays and you know he might be the god of gaming or pretty much anybody might be the god of gaming but you cannot possibly know because at the end of the day you cannot know if he played the game before or not or if he did a perfect run or not like it's it's really impossible so yeah i don't know why i'm going with this here at the end i i literally don't i just got lost in thoughts there is no reason for me to even say this maybe i should even edit this out or maybe i'm not gonna edit out anything because that's not what i'm doing in my videos anyway that's going to be it for today this time for true though i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like on the channel and you know opinions and anything you want to say about this whole uh, rant here at the end which isn't even a rant it's just a random thoughts uh yeah you can do that too <laughs> i mean that's on you once again thanks for watching and see you guys around